Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. Wait today, the next flip flop. This is what? This is the truth table for the SR flip flop. You know that, okay? And we're gonna use it today in our today's topic that is the D flip flop. D flip flop, alright? Okay. Now let me draw the, 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 the block diagram for the SR flip flop also. So that would then be better to understand. Let's say this is your S, this is your R. The clock pulse is given. And you have the outputs Q and Q complement. Is that fine? Okay. Now you can see from the truth table when both the inputs are same. So either it is resulting in a memory state or it is resulting in an invalid state. As for 0, 0, it is memory. And for, for the 1, 1, it is an invalid state. Which means, now the concern, the concern of ours is what? The, it's the, these two configurations. When S is 0, R is 1. And when S is 1, R is 0. So now if you see this SR flip-flop operates when, when these two are opposite to others. The two inputs are opposite to others. Let's say if this is the S input and this is the R input, so then we'll operate if they are opposite. Now in the D flip-flop, what do we do? To, instead of providing the two inputs opposites of each other, we provide a single input with a NOT gain. And how is that? Let's say we provide this S, and now we, 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 we have an inverter, that is this NOT gate, and now we provide the R over here. This input, this input is called the D input now. So now it means we have converted this S R flip-flop to the D flip-flop, and this D basically stands for data, which means the data have been stored. Now this could be what this I could say that this this is the internal circuitry of a D flip flop, which is over here. Let's say this one. You have the same Q. You have Q complement inside the box. You you're giving it a clock pulse, and the input that you're giving it is a D. Inside you have an inverter which is giving it to the, next, uh, to the next input in the form of R, and they are inverted. The two are the opposite of each other. All right, so now how would be the, the, the truth table for it? Let's say if this is the clock pulse and the input is D, so we have only two, uh, two inputs, uh, so which means you have a combination 0, 0, a zero x it could be okay because if the clock is zero so doesn't matter whatever it is and then you have a one zero and one one now this is what this is the truth table okay let me write over here truth table okay now when the clock is zero whatever be the value of d it is going to be retained which means this is going to be in its memory state this basically stands for this position, S equal to 0, R equal to 0. Now when the clock is 1 and D is 0, D is 0 means that S is 0 and R is 1. Now this is for this state, okay? The previous was for S is 0 and R is 0, both. Now when S is 0, R is 1, so your next state is 0. And for the next one, when your R is 1, uh, when S is 1, sorry, so D is 1 and R is 0. Now, in this case, your next state would be 1. This is when? This is when S is 1, which means it is set now. Now, the flip-flop is set. So, this is the truth table for it. Next, we do what? We find the characteristic table with the help of the truth table. So, the characteristic table. Well, it has a long spelling, this characteristic. In the characteristic I told you, we do what? We find the next state with the help of the present inputs and the present state. Which means we have the inputs as QN and D. 
the output is qn plus 1. There are two inputs, so four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. All right. Now, <coughs> sorry. What do you have? When d is 0, when d is 0, so q, the next state is 0. All right. The next state is 0. Uh, uh, let me start over here. When, when d is 0, so the next state is 0 from there. Okay. Now, when d is 1, when d is 1, so the next state is 1. Fine. Now, again, if d is 0, so again q, the next state will be 0. And if d is 1, so the next state would be 1. So that I believe with nothing to do with the other. It's directly found out from here, okay? Now, if you want to find the value from here of the qn plus 1, so you can see that qn plus 1 is equal to d. All right, qn plus 1 is equal to d directly. Fine. <clears throat> now, the last that remains is the excitation table. So, the excitation table. Now, when we've seen from the previous video, then in the excitation table, we find the present input uh, uh, on the basis of the present output and the previous output. All right. Which means that the inputs are Qn and Qn plus 1. Yes, Qn and Qn plus 1. And the output is going to be D. Fine, because that is the present input. All right. And this is the present output, uh, the present output and the previous output. Fine. Now you have again four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now we have a look, QN and QN plus 1. Now this excitation table is filled with the help of the characteristic table. So if you see, when QN and QN plus 1 both are 0, so, so what happens? That D is 0 in this case. All right. Uh, this is the case, fine. Now when uh, Qn is 0 and Qn plus 1 is 1, so D is 1 in that case, all right? This one, it's 1, okay? And then when Qn is 1 and Qn plus 1 is 0, so D is again 0. Let's say it's this case, the black color. And finally, when both of them are 1, so D is also 1. And in this case, if you see, so D is equal to QN plus 1 again. D is equal to QN plus 1. Now, this has been stored. That was all about the D flip-flop, all right? What we did, instead of providing separate inputs at both the terminals S and R, we know they are inverted, so why not we provide one input and we have, the other, uh, we have it inverted for the next uh, input, all right? So, which means by introducing a NOT gate, this is the inside circuitry of this box, okay? And then we have the truth table, the characteristic table from the truth table, and the excitation table from the characteristic table. That's all about it. See you in the next lecture. Very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.